so I can actually like move stuff into my forges. When the vendor dude opens, I'll steal his stuff and we'll do that. But for now, I have a bunch of iron. And clay soil. And I throw you a bit of wood, maybe not that much. We'll turn on and have fun. We'll have to be careful because the game, last I knew, had a heat thing going on with the forges and a certain zombie detects a heat and is lured to it. And that's not necessarily a zombie we want to have, but if we do get it, it's generally fun, I guess. Perfect. Why? What? Is it just this wall type? That, okay, I guess that'll be fine. Playing a little seven days yourself? Nice. You play a modded Valkyrie? What kind of mods you play with? This is another one of those games where I never looked into modding at all. But I knew it was a thing. I just never got around to it. More soil? I think I might need to get more soil. I think I need more soil. We'll head out and get more soil then. Fine, fine. Raw lead. Bit of brass we can melt down. Some more iron. I was keeping for repairs, but... Nah, yeah, I'll keep it for repairs. Two plant fibers. Oh boy. A lump of coal I can make gunpowder out of. And also a spring at some point. Okay. Hmm. Water purifier. Okay, cool. So we'll hang on to the charcoal. I was curious what I could really do with the coal because the, um, for fueling the forge, the wood is just fine. So you can hang out in there, I suppose. Off fragments. I'm not sure where that's going. I think all this is going in this chest, right? Apparently not. Okay. Fine. Oh, no, I took it all off of the bellows, right? If we hang on to the nails, I don't really need on me right now. Snowball, don't really need. Glass jar. Nitrate powder is going up there. Eggs are going up there. Painkillers I'm keeping. Bandages I'm keeping. Bottled water I'm keeping. And food I've got on the campfire still. Along with some glue. And somebody's outside. How do you quick move something to a chest? Yeah, shift left click. Highly recommend. Especially useful if you just want to see if you've got something in the chest already, you just shift click it, and if it makes a new stack somewhere, then you didn't have any. That's sort of how I use it. And we gotta repair all this stuff up too. That seventh night, we, we lost a lot of... A lot of traps, especially in the back. Smash. Smash. Next. And Nursley. What's War of the Walkers? It sounds like a, um... Like a mod pack type thing. Right, I needed... We're gonna get some clay soil and stuff, which means generally look for... Cotton. Because the stuff grows beneath cotton. Because that stuff's gonna be cooking for ages, and I don't know... Maybe he's open, but even if he is open, I can't get his stuff out right now anyway. Although I, I could queue it to be started at least, I suppose. Because I don't need his forge anymore, because I've got my forges, but there's leftover materials inside the forge that I want to get out, and I can do that, so I may as well queue that up so it's crafting just like the raw scrap stuff while I'm out getting soil. Ugh. It's a 1.8 gigabyte big mod pack. Started it Saturday, and it's harsh so far. Many, many zombies. Ugh. Uh, okay. 
Does it add items and furniture and traps and stuff then? There's a stone in there I don't think I need, really. Ten, yeah, I give it like 20 minutes worth of fuel. All the brass? I guess all the cement. All the iron and all the lead. Pour all of it out. I'll pick it up later. How long will that take? Yeah, oh, got plenty of time. All right. I've done a lot of work since you were last watching. When did you last stop in? I don't. I don't think I've done too much. Honestly, it, it doesn't feel like I've done much. I feel like I've done fuck all. <laughs> Uh, because, like, this house I didn't build. We just moved into it. This is just a house that was next to the vendor guy. The vendor dude we discovered on the first stream, I think, that he had, like, a lot of the materials needed last week. It started last week. <laughs> I was in the first place. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, well, I ended up going to the vendor dude because he was marked, and he's got a lot of working, functioning furniture and stuff. They tend to have the, uh, like, the workbench and the cement mixer and stuff, but a lot of the time it's destroyed and not usable. But my vendor happens to have all that stuff working, because I'm apparently very lucky. So I decided to move base over to it, and this is just a house nearby that I took over, cleared out, and reinforced a little bit. Dug a trench, put spikes in the trench, put some barbed wire around outside the trench, put some wood slats in for the windows so I could actually shoot out. And yeah, so like, what is this? Is this the clay? Yeah, that, that, that's clay there. All right. Going fine. Need to get my stamina fixed up. Plenty good on food. Bit short on water. Didn't have a good look at the into the mod, but there are more skill perks too, for example. The pack mule trait now has eight levels. Oh god. Okay. Yeah, because I figured like if we're gonna add more zombies, you may as well add more uh, defenses and stuff at least, right? I don't know how much of this I want. Just a bunch. But I think the clay soil turned into... Well, I also need 900 of it for the crucible at some point when I can learn to make that. Cobblestone rocks, though. Surprisingly sturdy flagstone and cobblestone structures. And what was... Cement? I know I can't do cement yet. That was just stone concrete mix. Cement mixer, which I can make. Um, so concrete mix. Sand, small stone, and cement. Okay, that might be what I'm thinking of. Because you need stone, and then also forged stone for the cement. Right. It's nice you can do a right click with the tools for a uh, power attack, still works. Just, I'm not sure that's energy efficient though, I don't gain energy enough. I think this might just be better just left clicking. My general plan though is we're gonna Keep streaming this for the week or so. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And that should get us toward day, uh, day 14. And hopefully we get some new fancy zombies to check out then. And then I think the following week I'll switch over to something else. But also the following week I think I'm going to finally start going for evening streams. Because that's more of a possibility now that um, my wife has her own computer now. 
So if she doesn't feel like watching, then she can do her own thing on the computer behind me, and it's fine. I'll keep some clay soil, but there you go. But that's the plan. It'd be something probably close to... Would be like 6 p.m. GMT or so. So it'll be like in the early afternoon for a lot of America and all that. Pinter, hello, does this have a field of view slider? I don't think so. I don't think so. There could be something in your configuration file. Maybe. Wrenches. Let me grab these flashlights, throw these over. What do you take to repair? We know. Repair kits. Right, repair kits I needed oil for. Right. Yeah, I needed to find oil. Okay. Because we'll need a bunch of those at some point. The... Place oil can go in. I do have a little bit of concrete mix. Upgrade rebar frames cobblestone or brick into solid concrete walls or to craft concrete blocks in a cement mixer. Ah, yes. More grounds. Hello, welcome. How you doing? I was just mentioning next week, I think the stream time is going to be changing because with my wife having her own computer now, she can just kind of do her own thing behind me on her computer if she doesn't feel like watching. Previously, she had nothing to do otherwise because it'd all just be too loud for a stream. Um... So yeah, that, that's the thing. We might be doing streams around like 6 p.m. GMT, so early afternoon for a lot of America, evening for a lot of Europe. It should be generally more accessible for people, I think. I hope. Let's see. Check on the other forge that this guy's got. Then I think I'll head into town and generally see what's going on there. Rip Australia. What time is that in Australia? And are you Australia? Australia's tough though. Like, they're... They're difficult to sync up with. Might not be able to make those times, we shall see. Alright, well yeah, I mean... No matter what I do, somebody's going to get screwed out of it a little Welcome bit. Trader Joe's. But I think I think the most Since amount of people like could it. watch. It's 4.40 p.m. currently you're on the east coast of Australia. Okay. Valkyrie would be nice to come home at 7 from night work, and sometimes it's hard to stay awake. Yeah. Yeah, you can't please everybody. That's exactly right. It's just you got to make do with the best that you can. Yeah, scrap armor, right. Forgot about that stuff. Uh, yeah, you just gotta do... Do what you can, basically. And I think, generally for people who watch me, that'd be an okay time. And this iron helmet, holy shit. You're just crushed. The helmet light installs into any head armor. Press F to activate. Oh, shit. Modified trigger group to fire semi-auto only. Hmm. Some interesting stuff. Ooh, a weighted head. Hmm, on the sledgehammer. <laughs> that sounds a bit unnecessary. I think I want that, though. I think I'm going to go get it. But there will still be the VODs, and I might still do earlier streams. I don't know if it'll be specifically evening streams or not. I think it'd be best if I just did the evening streams, honestly, but I don't know. We'll see. 
Because at some point when I do the integration courses for Germany, those will be taking place, it seems, in the morning. So I'll have to be moving stream times anyway, or just not stream. So let's see it is what it is there. Do I have anything else to sell? I don't think so, right? I don't think so. A couple random bits and bobs, but nothing that I gotta get rid of. With Alpha 18 comes a double barreled shotgun. Man, I haven't looked into Alpha 18 what it's adding at all. Um, people are pretty hyped about it, so that's cool. Purple fish, you just catch me when you can. Yeah, and there's always the VOD's worst case. I do read the YouTube comments and everything. The YouTube stuff still, uh, YouTube stuff. A lot of people don't comment on the streams because I just, I imagine that they just kind of have it on as background noise because they're such a long video. I don't know. Uh, how about but there's still that. Your pockets? One weighted head, please. Shit, man, I treat you that good and you don't even fucking tip me. Guy. Oh, still an empty modifier slot. So we have two modifiers on them. It's pink and weighted, so it gets a bunch more melee damage and block damage and everything. Cool, cool. And that that's that's in and done. Yeah, that's in and done. Nice. So the weighted head. What'd you do exactly? Chance of stun and slow. It seems unnecessary, but oh well. The man with gun, hello, welcome. Coffee and breakfast is done. Good deal, man. <laughs> we're just talking about stream times possibly changing next week to where it'd be around 6 p.m. GMT. Roughly ish, I think. And how that'll affect people. What quest do I have? Retrieving supplies. That way. Oh yeah, that was the thing. Well, I want to check out that town first. That was... And way up there? Fuck. I'm going to check out the town just to the south. Climb with Ethan, she'll be starting uni soon. Yeah, because like with the integration courses in the morning, I think those those would prevent me from doing a super early stream anyway, and a lot more people can access me in the evening anyway. So it like it'd be cool to have Twitch partner, and I think if more people could watch me, we might be okay. <clears throat> that was a left click. Man, that was satisfying as hell. Dunk. Ugh. <laughs> It'd be 4 a.m. for you. Oh god. Yeah, okay, don't... Don't kill your sleep that much. I'm not that important. <laughs> I like the GMT time. You have to follow it for work anyway. Okay. The trader in your game is Claudio one but has a man's voice. I have that also in the, uh... In my little solo test thing that I had going on. I, I also have the female, but she still has the same voice. It's... odd. Yo, free potatoes. I won't grab them all. Hunty's okay. And I can... I don't know how to make the seeds. Okay, but it's four potatoes for one seed. What the hell? Currently have the stream on in the background while playing some Space Engineers. Nice! Strategic Owl, welcome. How you doing? Happy to have you. I don't mind being background noise. Space Engineers is great. I haven't played that in ages. Last time I played it was shortly after they introduced the uh, planets that you can land on and stuff. It was like so long ago. I heard it was so long ago. Fuck. 
I checked out Medieval Engineers afterwards, but wasn't really feeling it too much. Hi! Wow. Holy shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus, what a jab. <laughs> oh my god. She startled me, I don't know. I didn't even hear anybody wake up. Three springs, nice. And if I brought a wrench, I could wrench that. A lot of farms here. Engine and electrical parts. It's not what I'm after. I'd like some oil. What gas station doesn't have oil? What is this place? Why is this place and how is this place? How'd you creep in there, huh? Well, they tore that down like immediately. Lucky looter. Ah, uh, yeah. I think I've got... I think I've got just one point of that. I ought to get more. I remembered. Only just, but I remembered. I did level, right? Yeah, one point available. I definitely want it though at some point. Yeah, that. I need perception level two. Alright, I mean, fair enough. Wrench harvest would be good. The... Crafting thing, so I can make cement and all that jazz. Intellect would make sense. Advanced engineering? Question mark. That's more guns and auto turrets and stuff. Although there's cement mixer. The steel, but that'll be a while. Then he's then he's level thirty-five. Yeah, let's just go for the um, Lucky Looter upgrade, so Perception for now. Being better with ranged weapons doesn't help me too much right now, but... Yo, are there any buildings here that like aren't destroyed, or...? Maybe that way? Maybe. That's embarrassing. This town's generally just falling apart. Not great. I might have to go up north, because that- The north town that I had, there's like this entire street with just open buildings, like a shotgun messiah, and I think there was a bookstore there, and something else way back there I think is open. <clears throat> yeah, hi, I see you. Oops. There we go. 
didn't drop as much as I thought it would. Animal fat. Oh, are you a military camp? I think that's a military camp, and if it is, it could have landmines around it. Yeah, I see a couple of them there. This could be worth checking out. Oh, hey. Can I loot these? To your right a little more. You're right. You're right. Bastards. Oops. Alright, fine. I'll just kill you normal. Get the experience. Stop that. Just just leave. It's a doorway. You just you just leave. Just Just leave. There's a dog. Two dogs. Oh cool. That's a fire attack. <laughs> nice try with the ambush. <laughs> Jumping into the side like that. Tinky tinky tink, hello, how you doing? I guess I'll use a painkiller. I'll have to drink some water afterwards shortly, but. Just so I don't get one shot or something. Man, there's a lot of dudes here. Good experience. Seize the moment, you know? Yeah. 
so much stamina to swing this fucking thing. Less stamina for attacks would be a really good trait to pick up. It'd matter a lot for this thing. Tinky's weather's not fun anymore, but Monday coffee is nice. What weather you got? Because last night it was rainy. Pretty significantly rainy, so we had to keep the windows closed, but it was generally a little bit warm, too. It, it wasn't great. Man, I, like, just beat them to the punch a lot of the times. Twenty six melee damage. All right, and this guy. And I heard another one off to the left somewhere. Was that a boarded over dugout in the trench? Yeah, I think so. I want to take a look at that. I noticed that also. Uh, right, uh, over here. Doesn't look like it has anything, but, yeah. Yeah, crushed sand. Makes sense. Well, maybe on the... Yeah, there's a backpack there. Pistol and some ammo. Not great. Okay, another bag. Military leg armor. Slightly less armor, but better for stamina and all that. Yes, please. And iron leg armor? I'll just scrap. How are you standing? I don't understand you. There it goes. Bit. Eh, yeah, it just turns into these little floating wood bits. Yeah.
Tinky tink tink. Listen to a VOD and you wonder why so many people in Germany have networks. It was a trend where they signed up everyone and his dogs and cats and the hamsters when YouTube started out. Being a network be cool, but the networks didn't provide much, of course. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what it was like in America, too. It's like, you do that, but, like, they... For a while, there literally was no purpose. And then YouTube changed its monetization stuff in 2012, I think it was, or 2015? I forget what. And a lot of drama was happening, and but being in a network meant that you could kind of bypass that. And when you say that you want to monetize your video, it, it would just... It would just happen immediately because you were in a network. You didn't have to wait for them to manually clear it all the time. Which could take days. Hey, a free helmet sight and SMG. Nice. This is a tricky box. Um, but then YouTube kind of sort of quickly sorted that, and there's once again no reason to be there. In a network. I, I don't... I don't know. I just... I thought maybe it was just like a Germany thing where, uh... For taxes or something, I don't know. Like, maybe if I'm in a network I don't need the private health insurance and I can save myself, like, 700 euro per month. <laughs> <laughs> it anyway, doesn't seem to be a whole lot here aside from just tents. Some of the tents I think have a first aid thing in them. Maybe. I'm not really sure though. There might be another munition box in the trench if I remember rightly. I don't know why you're putting in so much effort boarding over a purse, but okay. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's it. Okay. Am I going to get the backpack you said that didn't exist? What, this? Eh. Ah, well, purse. I missed it, though. That blends in pretty well. Maybe you have an advantage in terms of GEMA, but then again, that's something you could do under fair use most of the time if you put in some work. Just study humans never got this network hype. Well, the thing with fair use, though, let me tell you about fair use. I'm not going to tell you about fair use. It's a pain in the ass, though. People need to actually fucking define fair use before we can actually start using fair use as a defense. Or an offense. Or anything at all whatsoever. For the moment, fair use is just a couple of words that people throw around. They don't actually have a meaning right now, though. It's sort of the downside of doing YouTube and Twitch and all that stuff is it's considered technically like new media and nobody's really established any like rules and stuff and how all that works yet. So it's all just a big nasty blurry gray area line thing. It is defined. The problem is to actually maintain you gotta go to court. Well, the thing with fair use, though, is it doesn't really apply to a whole lot aside from uh, art and such. Like, it doesn't... It doesn't fit in with a lot of things. It doesn't fit in with new media at all. And it's all subjective. All of it. Every bit of it is subjective. 
And you can't have that when it comes to law and lawsuits and all that stuff. What I'm doing is technically um, under German law, at least, maybe European law, is technically like TV, so I need a broadcasting license, which was a bit of drama for, I think, Ronk and somebody else in Germany, where they got a big fine because they needed to get a broadcasting license, which is like 10,000 euro or something like that. But it was a stupid, awkward definition, and they kind of admitted that... It, it shouldn't really apply to them, but technically it does, so it's nothing they actively enforce. But technically... And, and yeah. It's, it's all a weird thing. I guess I'll take the shotgun shells. I don't, I don't really have much inventory space, but I guess I should swing back home before I head all the way up to that other town. Yeah, fine. Man, it's so good just one-shotting them, holy hell. It takes a bunch of stamina, but man, it feels good. It also doesn't help that YouTube, being the way it is... Oh, it's a vulture. Okay. I wasn't sure what the hell I was looking at. And you guys are... Not- why does everything cost so much stamina? Even a right click with just the hammer is costing like 50. Whoa, that's gone. Alright. Bird's out of here. Uh, with YouTube in particular, it's really strange that they've created a tool and a system that uh, not only allows, but also kind of encourages, in some cases, the potential for mass false copyright claims, which is incredibly illegal, yet nothing's been done about it. I await one day for the class action lawsuit to bring down Content ID, and that alone will uh, fix everything. We just need people to just get together and say, hey. This is a tool that they're using, and not policing, that's creating a lot of issues and drama. Illegal issues and drama. But, I don't- nobody's- nobody's doing it? I don't- I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong about it? I'm sure somebody out there would have done it by now if it were a thing. But it seems to me that it shouldn't be legal to create a tool that allows people to do illegal things and then just back off from it and not police it at all whatsoever and maintain a hands-off approach, and just letting AI figure it out. Developmental AI, nonetheless. It's... it's quite strange. Did I level during that, by the way? I did! Lucky looter! So now we have an additional 50 to loot bonus, whatever that means. And then the... <sighs> Causing less stamina? Is that just not a thing? I feel like that would be a thing. And none of that. 
I guess that's not a thing. There's no traits to reduce stamina cost of uh, swinging or anything. Guns use less stamina. Yeah, I mean, eventually. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll just pound out the lucky looting. Let's see, advertising stands in Germany. Is it more like North America or is it more like England? I don't know enough about England's North America, or <laughs> England's North America? I don't know enough about England's advertising stuff to really tell you. I'm not really sure what you mean. Like, I can run adverts, no problem. And I haven't had to set a filter for what type of advertisements I run. I mean, I know gambling advertisements are at least legal in Germany, because I see those on TV all the fucking time. Boy, let me tell you, that Mr. Green shit. Those fucking commercials. All Mr. Green does is walk around being green, looking at people spending their money in gambling, and smiling with that dumbass smirk of his. Fucking Mr. Green, man. England's North America is probably Canada. Huh. <laughs> If life had a standard RPG stat system, strength, endurance, agility, intelligence, will, luck, etc., etc., what stat would I max first? I wouldn't max any of them. I'm typically not one to go ham on any particular thing, but I think luck is always the good way to go, though. If you were to just, like, if you had to focus on one particular trait, luck would be the one. Oh no, I might die if I do that. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm really lucky. It'll be okay. Oh no, I'm too stupid to figure out. Yeah, let's wing it. I'm really lucky. I'll figure it out. It's just, it's so, it's so all-encompassing. Or Minnesota, England, North America, Minnesota. I never went to Minnesota. There's not a few states that I haven't been to. There's, there's, there's just a few states that I haven't been to, because we used to do a lot of uh, long-distance driving and stuff like that. Way back in the day, when I was really young. Technically, I've been to most of the states. Or at least through. Because we had family that lived like in Texas and some of them in Maine and just drive all over hell visiting them. I would like to do that again sometime though, because I was I was really young. I would have been like three to seven years old at the time, so like I don't remember any of it. Like apparently I've been to Niagara Falls. I don't remember it. There's a photo of me there, but I've never been there. That I can remember. There's a Bill Murray wizard for D&D 5e build that centers around luck. Hmm. Did a tabletop recently with a ridiculous luck stat and was absolutely dumping my points all over it. It led to things like the GM going, okay, let me put it this way. It's high enough that if you jump down, you will all die instantly. Well, maybe not her. <laughs> you might get lucky and just happen to land just right and only get slightly injured. Like, that's the thing with luck, is it's so just... It's a bit of- it can help you in every situation. It's overpowered. But if you were to remove luck... Um... Probably... Probably agility, honestly. Being fast is always good. I don't think there's too many scenarios where I'll be like having to punch a boulder out of the way to save somebody, you know? I guess the gas barrel's in there. Rotting flesh. Um, for some reason keeping that. Potatoes. We'll put in there. Plant fiber, I don't really use that, honestly. I can go in. Animal fat, we'll probably cook up raw meat. And goods, glass jar, vitamins, crushed sand. I have two of it now. Well, oh boy. A basic pistol, we'll just scrap that. Put the ammo away. 
nails away, shotgun shells away, steel crossbow bolts away, the helmet light. That's a mod that we're going to be keeping. That's a good one. Hunting rifle. Level 2. Same as mine. Let's scrap it. Put the ammo away. Scrap polymers go in the other case. Some rockets. Oh, cheers. Um, that we can sell. Stone arrows I'm using. I don't know if I can do iron arrows. I think this is all going in the other chest. Oh yeah, some more canned stuff. And antibiotics, acids, the other chest, coal. Now oh, got leather, bone, bullet casings. Yes. Oh, here are this chest. SMG in, I guess. Okay. So. Iron arrow. Iron arrow head. Iron and clay. It's white. I think I can do it. Iron and clay. Need to give this thing a bunch more fuel again. As always. And I think the arrowheads are pretty easy to do. Yeah, iron frames and all that you make in here. An anvil. I feel like an anvil would be a good thing to build. I feel like I need that for the arrowhead. Yeah, anvil required. Make an anvil. It'll take five and a half minutes. Cool. Enjoy. I will sort my vitals. Food's running low, water's looking okay. Bacon and eggs. The only need for a steel arrow or workbench and maybe a trait. Iron you can do simple. When's the mini scooter? Mini scooter comes up later on. I gotta do the bicycle first though. But the mini bike is technically next, but I need to get another intelligence to use it. Oh no, I can get that. Uh, I can just straight up buy that for mini bikes. That ain't too bad. And I'll bring a wrench. What'd you need for repairs? Yeah, kind of proper forged steel. Annoying, but I'll do it. There. Bring you along. Good thing to have. Knife's not so important. Bandages are. Shovel's not so important. So let's go knife, shovel. The arrows I'll be replacing in a minute, but I'll hang on to. The stone axe we'll put away. That's more of like a construction thing at this point. Pickaxe, I guess I'll hang on to. Maybe I find like a cool bit of whatever to mine up. Food 141 out of. So have a cornbread. And another water. I'm going to see 87 deer now. Man, I'll be so upset. Okay, that'll be a while. We'll just, uh... We'll just let it do its thing. I guess I'll put in some more wood. Because you're actively cooking a lot of stuff. And we'll leave it at that. Hopefully we don't get a creepy nasty while that's going. We'll find out. So, to town, huh? Or should I go for that first? Nah, let's go to town.
And then with the iron arrows, I can actually maybe do damage with a damned compound book. Stone arrows are such trash from what I remember. Um, I can actually maybe use that a bit more. That'd be cool. I mean, I'm getting the perception anyway, so I can get lucky looter stuff. So it should be doing more damage regardless. Okay. Come on, flashlight. Fuck, you're sturdy. God damn. A true big boy. Oh, with a SWAT helmet. I can put a light on that. That's probably an upgrade over what I've got currently. And it takes forged iron to repair. Oh yeah, more armor, much more durability. More effect resistance, but less stamina and mobility. It's just more of a pain in the ass to wear. Get out of here. And you also need the Forge Iron to repair. Okay. Well, we'll keep that in mind. That's a cool find. We I mean, don't like the Blake Croft crossbow, right? I've got bolts, and I can do the crossbow. Right. Yeah, SWAT mining helmet, exactly. Best of both worlds. With that, with that flashlight attachment mod that I could just throw on any helmet, I mean, man, that opens up possibilities. Stamina. I feel like it doesn't regenerate as quickly as it used to, and I feel like stuff costs more to power attack with. Is that just a thing that happens as you level, or am I just am I just going nuts here? Is this one of those games where you can take trash gear and mod it until it's godlike? No. Um, it seems like the lower value stuff doesn't have many mod slots on it. Like, a lot of my stuff just has one mod slot. I'm sure some of the later on gear, like, if I click on a piece of gear, like, these are the mod slots, technically. I could potentially, there's UI space for six of them. But I've actually just got the one slot on this. So... Can't really do a whole lot. I'm fat? Yeah, that's probably it. Dang, nabbit. My character is always getting so fat in a zombie apocalypse. I don't get it. I don't understand. I do so much running. What do you mean it's bad to eat three bags of chips? A weightlifting backpack? Or generally just, yeah, like a body modification would be great. Treat it like Deus Ex. Augments. That'd be cool. I could see that though for like a, um, like a torso mod slot type thing. Backpack. Just boost your stamina recovery a bit or something like that, I don't know. Something. Um, 
sweating helmet sounds like something you wear when somebody asks you to take care of the fly in the kitchen or something. Some of the flies are big enough. Man, if they fly into you, you might get a concussion. Neural Mods DLC, or just a mod suite. I need to play Deus Ex, that's another one of those games. People talk about it, it's like one of the... One of the best, I think, according to people. First person games that's like, kind of transcends time. Like, graphically, it's, it's quite dated. But, kind of like the classic XCOM games, they're just... They're, they're sort of top of their genre. I need to check them out still, because I never played Deus Ex. Oh, fucking rain. Come on, I was enjoying the nice breeze. Eh. <sighs> Non-augmented humans can only have one mod slot, and it ain't pleasant to put things into it. Aww, oh, but I want to put a backpack in there! I wanna carry more! <laughs> Stupid. Stupid poopy shit design. Deus Ex is godly. Yeah, like, just the classic original Deus Ex, as far as I know, is like top tier. The newer Deus Ex games? I don't know. I remember 2011 or so, another Deus Ex game had come out that people were super fucking hyped for. I... I... Don't know if that was any good though or not. I remember asking once upon a time, I think during Minecraft at some point, but I forgot what the answer was on that. One nine hundred zombie love. Munch as carpet. Oh. One latte macchiato, please. And also, two old beer. Why is there charcoal in the stove? What did you cook in there? That's not how that works. Actually, it's not even charcoal. Technically, it's just coal. I guess if I'm just like, oh look, carbon residue, and I just compress the fuck out of it with my hands. Man, I'm strong. <laughs> the newer Deus Ex was fun. MD is sadly ha harmed by its publisher's stupid integrated. Well, one's MD. I'm not- I'm not hip enough to know the, uh, the Deus Ex lingo and acronyms here. Technically, fun fact, MD isn't actually an acronym. I forget what that's called, but an acronym has to be pronounceable. And MD isn't really pronounceable. But something like radar, or modem. Although modem's kind of a rough acronym. So is radar, technically. They both a bit cheat. Mankind Divided. Ah, okay. Most recent day XX suffered from Squeenix's obsession with episodic games, kind of like Hitman. Ooh. And I'm not the stealth shooter person, but I loved playing it harmless with Miff Taser. Mechanics-wise, MD was actually the better one, but Squeenix got a Squeenix. Well, like, how is it now? Like, I mean, if it's an episodic type thing, do they have... Like, surely it's done by now. So you could just, like, buy it and play all of it at once and it's fine? Or do you have to buy multiple different ones and there's no, like, massive cool, awesome Game of the Year edition pack thing that comes with everything? Man. Fucking, give me the backpack. I ain't playing that. Whoa. Dude, you are pissed. Re fucking lax. Ha. Ah. It's 
more than that, it just stops. They promised episodic and then fucked off. Ah, I see. Well. Well, that's not good. That's not okay. Oh my god, a blueberry pie! Um, um, um. Crunch. Why is my character so fat? Hey, 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 hey. It was just one entire pie, okay? Come on. Two entire pies. Come on. <laughs> it's pie. Dude, a fucking office chair. Two of them. Okay, so upstairs then. What's in the microwave? Who microwaves a sandwich? The hell is wrong with you people? Never eat rotten meat for induced anorexia. Induced anorexia or induced bulimia? I feel like both would work. That was good. Yeah. Perception or agility? Or stamina? Whereas perception was weapon damage and accuracy. Yeah, we'll go with the agility. Wasn't sure. Absolutely safe. Ten out of ten. You're gonna fall. So fast. Damn it. 
Glad I could just like take out the floor beneath them and have them fall. All these extra sturdy zombies here. Shooting you in the helmet with a stone arrow, and you died. You should feel bad. They're so loud. And there's you coming finally. Alright, what's so important over here? Yeah, fuck that. This brings me back out to this. Alright. And we can head back up. And in. And down. Whoa. <clears throat> Ram my face into those. I kind of want to wrench this bus. sure it's worth it. Don't do it, guy. No, no. no. I like that in Dying Light, the uh, the bridge, the zombies on top of it, just sometimes just walk off and fall to their death. <laughs> just stand there and watch them for hours. Oh man, basic zombies in Dying Light, they're the best. experience. I got two skill points at last level, I think, unless I leveled up and didn't notice it, and that's just saved up and carried over. Perception level five now. Which is like, I think, three skill points, because the level five one takes two. Hey, you made it through, finally. Nice. Welcome to die.
Pretty sure he took fall damage just then. We are thirsty. Back at it. Are there buses to drive in Project Zomboid? In base, no. Um, any of the large, I don't think, I don't think base Project Zomboid has large vehicles or anything like that, but I'm sure there's a mod for it. Like, I think the biggest base Project Zomboid thing might be the Melvine that I found. I don't know for certain though. Go around to the front. Store more, right? And crack a book. That's not how cash registers work, dude. Oh my god, he's so upset. You're fired. Oh yeah, magazines that give you just a temporary boost. There you go, bipod schematic. Yeah, yeah. Does this game game take place shortly after Halloween? I want an explanation for the sexy nurses. Well, it's just a... Uh, it's an amalgamation of my dark history and um, represent the... Uh, the, and the pyramid and metaphor. All very simple. Just not, not getting the umph anymore. Here we are. The grave digger schematic, sure. I don't know if I want these magazines. Hey, they sell pretty okay. I'll sell them. Like, I'm really not one of the type of people who will be like, Oh wow, a thing to give me a buff for 10 minutes. I'll never fucking use it, ever. There will never be a circumstance that I'm like, I'll use that. On the very rare occasion, I might remember like, I could use a bit of a boost to get through this. but only very rarely. And all of you guys, I think, oh, you've reset. I'm over here. Your pathing doesn't realize. Okay, bye then. You wanna come into these windows? Fine by me. 
I don't... Did you just fall down? Oh yeah, you, you just jump down and you want to go through the door. Whatever makes you happy, I guess. Ow. Hey. I feel like left click is more stamina efficient. And thus I can definitely guarantee I one shot them with the right click. I don't think it's worth it. Um right, that needed perception five. But it'd also be cool to get the pack mule thing. Strength level five. We'll go for that. Melee and block damage sounds pretty nice. All right. Jackham, hello, how you doing? I'm doing quite okay, can't complain. And that's if I could open the fucking window, but it won't stop raining, so... Although, it, it actually has stopped raining temporarily, but I'm sure it'll start back up as soon as I open the window again. That's one that's worth it. In theory. Scrap it and take the ammo and the SMG. SMG, just to confirm, you use pistol ammo, right? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Not entirely sure where you're bringing me right now, but... This is the only way to get to it, just an upper level of storage. With no zombies. Huh. Okay. You like rain? I like rain too. I love rain, but like it's it's warm. We had to keep everything closed up overnight. We haven't been able to open stuff this morning. Oh wow, you're you're very sneaky there. I just I wanna I wanna air it out. <laughs> Advanced muffled connectors. Eight percent noise reduction. Sure. Um, how many lot sauce do you have? Two of them. There you go. What? Oh. Oh, for, from armor. Oh. Okay, yeah, just a one slot slot. Um, right. Probably the chest armor? I don't know where noise would be. Yeah, okay, cool. There you go. Kind of a cool place, like, early on, but man, there's so many zombies here, I don't know if that'd be worth it. Seems generally just not great. Back down. And around. 
outside. And we'll check out the ground level, I suppose. Did I craft any vehicle? Not yet. I'm missing some bicycle parts. I only just got the forge up. Um, I can probably do the mini bike though. I just need to get the skill point for it. I might spend the next skill point on that just so then I can do it. And then we'll have a vehicle to get around with. Aloe vera seeds. Mm hmm. Check into you fast. Yeah, okay. Repair kit, a door pistol. Okay. An iron door. I'll scrap that. All right. Oh, that was that was quite cool. And you break into just something. The cracker book storage room. Polymer string schematic. There we go. The vendor dude was selling it for like all of my money before. And my metal spikes mod. Sure. Drop the berries, drop the glass. Iron arrowhead. I can grab some feathers and we can get that going, I suppose. A leather. Cans just scrap. Broken glass, drop that. Office chairs, scrap them for leather. Eh. Coffee beans. Maybe. Maybe. Jack him, take it easy. Thanks for stopping in. Have a good one. Alright. And I think that's that little street done. There's a backpack symbol to s Holy fuck, holy, thank you. I had no idea. A warehouse... Shotgun Messiah. And a cup of joe. I'm assuming there's gonna be a lot of shit inside Shotgun Messiah to fight and kill. Because, you know, guns and stuff. Think a shot in the head to do a little bit more to him. Uh, 
Use your guns to get more guns. If you don't have enough gun, just use more gun. Is this an advertisement for Borderlands 3? How is Borderlands 3? I asked once, but uh, I'm so curious on it if anybody's opinion has changed. These things seem quite cool. Oh, hey. Ah. <laughs> you had a pretty good chance there, sir. Proud of you. I heard footsteps. Nothing on the shelves yet. Okay, okay. That we could shovel if I had my shovel with, but I didn't bring it. And I've just aggroed this building. Alright. A cup of Joe place. Thirsty. Thirsty. Drop the murky water, drink a few waters, because it does stack. Alright. How does that work? That's wood? I have a few questions. Still the down below that I want to check out, but up here first. Scrap it. Take a minute. He'll work his way through. Do the work for me. Still at it. No, gave up. Man. Everyone remember where we left the concrete? Yeah, okay. I'll try. Uh, hi. Is, is there a painting on the other side? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Blue die. There you go. Makes it a bit better for now until next update. Ah. 
Hey, he wakes up. Cheers. Ugh, click. Oh man. This painted SMG looks like it might be worth a few bucks on Steam. Who wants my skin? Stop it. Weird. We're fully loaded again. Probably some stuff up there. It's a fake dropped roof thing. Like carrying up. What the fuck? Do I care enough to try to drop down into it, though? Not really. Automatic weapons and lucky looter. Take them to Seoul! So. Down. Into here. Okay, what is this? Stone and stuff. Guess I'll clean it up a little. I don't think there'd be anything beneath it, but could be a buried treasure. Probably not. Ominous. out of my ass. Awkward technique. Okay, so welcome to being cornered. There's a feral zombie in that? I didn't even notice. Alright. How we doing here? Yeah, a little bit low with both stuff. 
300% fizz melee damage, 50% stamina gain. Cool. I'll eat some dog food. And I'll drink a water. Get this shit out of the way. What a fantastic soundtrack. Oops. Money. Okay, man, I came into that from the right direction. That would have sucked to have run through otherwise. <sighs> At least I have a pickaxe with me. This this might not be too bad. You see, axe on the carton sometimes to get something. Okay. Uh, sorry, that was like an old message. I kind of glanced through it before, though. <laughs> Do I have lead going on anywhere? I don't think so. Yeah, nah. Oh, well, that wasn't really worth it. More iron arrowheads, which I do have a stack of. And this is the back one. Okay. Well, um... Sure. <clears throat> Wasn't as much as I expected. But okay. So that shotgun messiah, or at least most of it. You found one time a rotten sandwich in a locked safe? Oh, how annoying. That's something Payday does. Payday too. You spend all this time picking a lock or drilling a lock on a safe and there's just like a fucking sandwich in there. Oy. Uh, all right, uh, I guess the warehouse I'll take a peek at. See what it's got. I'm pretty heavy right now, though. And I probably leveled. Yeah, I got three points available. I wanted pack mule, so we go another point of strength and then pack mule. So, pretty much, my entire inventory is unlocked. Just a few slots aren't. And I'm not nearly as over-encumbered as before, so I should be generally kind of quick. Ish. Maybe.
So what, these things with an axe? This warehouse is pretty lame so far. That's a cup of joe again. Gotta be something on the upper levels at least. But to get to the upper levels I'd have to go through... Cup of joe maybe? He's feral with the yellow eyes, right? Ah, missed. Chase it down with some water. That was a rude ambush. Probably some stuff up there worth looking at, but man. Wanna? Do I have wood? Don't, I do have wood. All right. Um. Uh, just wood stairs. Like I don't. Well, let's just go frame. Actually, frame will be just fine. Do I have water? I have a water left. Ha! I can totally nerd pull. Fantastic. That's what you do. Yeah. Okay, so we'll have to build over that, I guess. Fine.
All for a suitcase. Cool. Some iffy looking wall there. That's it though, just iffy looking. Well then. What are you? Stone? Looks like stone. Stone. Rip microwave. Alright. Let's just get out of here. I'm full. It's late. We've been out long enough, I think. Um, Didn't find anything too wild or create Like a bunch of magazines to sell and some upgrades, which is kind of cool. Was generally a little bit lacking, though. Vent type things destroy. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, there's the drop that happened. Big waypoint I can't remove. Alright, so we'll just. Run over to the drop, I suppose. Crawl over to the drop. Something toward the drop. Ugh. I'll drop those. Top right of map. Aha! Nice, thank you. What else can I drop here? I guess the office chairs I'll get rid of. I'll drink a beer. Feeling a bit rowdy. Huh. Is that considered drunk? Because I need to kill two zombies while drunk still. Where'd that grain alcohol go? Ah. Nothing to drink. Okay. Fine. Zombie? Anyone? Eh, it's already worn off. Fuck. Okay, well one beer might be enough. I thought I would need a few beers. Yeah, okay. Not super hot, though. Almost there, kind of. Minus one heat resistant the chest armor. Everything else just gives. I don't know. I think I'll just have to deal with it. I think my character is being a little bitch. He seemed quick. 
Nah. You want some of this? How are we doing for temp? Feels like 28.89 still. Okay. Uh, I'll take that. I'll scrap that. The beaker I'll take. I'll eat a lot of these. The first aid kits I'm keeping. Not millimeter rounds I can stack. Horn meal. Don't have a spot for. Alright. Um, stone arrows drop. Cloth drop. Rotten flush. I can easily get a lot more of that. Coffee bean. Old lead. And arrowhead scrub. And crushed sand. What a nice pile that is. Good job, me. Crunch. Okay. Now one more beaker for the chem station. Okay. Dude, I will hunt you so hard. Hunting! I don't know if I even have to lead my shots at all. Nope, don't have to. Okay. See about taking the director. Man, this will take a while. It'll be really nice to have the the motorcycle thing. Hopefully they fix it up a little bit. It used to drive a bit shit. 